morning everyone for this new episode on duffy and kid blood group system i am dr mohit choudhary this is transconnect and this is october 2023 and we are here with our new episode on this very interesting two blood group system which have got a lot of similarities and still they are different from each other so once we start with the enzyme classification we know that there are few blood group systems which are enhanced like the kid system which we are going to talk about by the enzymes and there are few systems which are decreased uh, in their reaction and they include other systems but also include duffy system which we are going to discuss of course there are some unaffected uh, blood group systems like kel diogo and colton so coming to the main uh, topic for today kid and duffy blood group system kid system is uh, the one which we are going to discuss first it is according to isbt it is the nomenclature given is 009 Uh, this was discovered in 1951 by Allen et al. in the serum of Mrs. Kidd, whose infant, who ironically his name was John Kidd, and that's where we get the name JK or JK abbreviation for this system had immune HDFE. So this new antibody was named as anti JKA. In 1953, Lord et al. identified the anti ethical, anti ethical antibody to JKA that was anti JKB, which was also discovered. so the genetics and biochemistry of this system include the location of the chromosome that is the 18 it is located on chromosome 18 the gene for the kit system is the solute carrier family 14 member 1 or slc 14a1 the number of antigens that are included in this system are 5 and uh, the cd number is 234 so we have jka and jkb these are uh, the antithetical antigen and they have an amino acid substitution at the fourth extracellular loop of protein which makes them different from each other we also have a silent jk allele which has mutation in both the alleles so discovery of jk a minus b minus phenotype are resistant to lysis by 2m urea and this was identified this primary erythrocyte uro- urea transporter coming to the genetics and biochemistry of the kid system the kid glycoprotein has 389 amino acids it has got 10 transmembrane domains if you see through the mem- transmembrane there are 10 domains both the n and the c terminal are located intracellularly it has got five extracellular loops the longest loop is the third loop short fourth loop actually carries the jka jkb so th- that is the polymorphism so at 280 position if you see there is asp then it is jk and if it is asn it is jkb coming to the kit system antigens it is well developed in neonates in jkb was developed as early as 7 weeks and jk in 11 weeks it is not found in platelets lymphocytes and monocytes however it is present on neutrophils and in kidney it is not denatured by the enzymes and not affected by EDT AAT or glycine acid EDTA so what are the phenotypes that are associated of course we can have four phenotypes jk positive b minus which is present in indian scenario as 32.5% we can have jk a positive b positive which is the maximally present here it is 48.9% we can have jk a negative jk b positive 18.5 and jk a negative b negative which is a rare group rare blood group pair in indian scenario now kit system the feature of antibodies you can see that it has got a very notorious reputation in the blood banking why it is that because it shows multiple things which are actually we have a problem with when as blood bankers we try to look for the antibody so first most important is the marked dosage effect so this kit system or kit antibody shows a dosage effect that which it reacts more with the homozygous cells than with the heterozygous kit antigen it shows variable antibody expression this is very dangerous specifically because the antibody often dis- disappears with time in storage so we are uh, sometimes the antibody may be present but when you repeat the test after a while the antibody may not be detected so what we need to do we need to record these things we need to have records which show that antibody was present and now it is not present so we can go with the erstwhile records also we can inform the patient and patient is supposed to remember it you can have a card you can have a a, a small wristband which says that okay this is the antibody that the patient earlier had 
So you should be wary of the antibody and you should always report it. The other effect that the antibody has in kit system, it has a famous association with delayed HDR. And why is that? Because of this antibody which shows an anamnestic response. So sometimes it's not detected. It's a dangerous antibody. And once you have re-exposure, there's a huge response that is known as anamnestic response. So generally it is extravascular, but sometimes it may be intravascular and often severe. The other thing it can do is it can cause hemolytic disease of the fetus and the newborn as well. So generally we have, it can even occur when only one antigen is different from the mom. So you do not require a homozygous dose to, you know, have it. It is usually IgG in nature, partly IgM made in response to pregnancy or transfusion and its reactivity is enhanced by LIS or PEG. So just to explain a small thing about dosage phenomena, it is a significant decrease in the antibody reaction strength depending upon the quantity of the target antigen present on the target blood cell. So you can see if on the right side on this cartoon, you have two doses of JKA, so the antigens are high. When you have one dose each of JKA and B, the antigens are split and they are equal in number but lesser than compared to JKA. Similarly, you have a homozygous or double dose of JKB here. So when both the antigens are present in just one single dose, it is known as heterozygous. But when both are present in double dose, then they are known as homozygous. So the antibodies, we can see that they are anti-JK are more common than anti-JKB, although JK is more immunogenic as well. Allo anti-JK3, just a small note about this third antibody. This is IgG antiglobulin reactive antibody, which is inseparable from anti-JK, JKB antibody. The individuals making the antibody will have the type JKA minus JKB minus. Reactivity is enzyme, enhanced by the enzyme, and it is also associated with immediate and delayed HDR and mild hemolytic disease of the fetus and node. Compatible units are best found by typing sibling or searching in the rare donor files. So, kid system, what is the clinical significance? We can remember four Ds. It shows the marked dosage effect. It is dangerous and difficult to detect because it uh, wanes over time. It shows a delayed HDR and it also has a hemolytic disease of the fetus and the newborn. It is most dangerous immune antibody that it decreases to undetectable levels between transfusion. Why it is more dangerous? It is can ability to bind complement. It can be expressed on the organ cell, especially the kidney, and has some implication in graft rejection or dysfunction. Relatively weak antibody in standard antibody identification test. It can cause DHTR and whenever it causes DHTR, anti-JKA may cause severe or immediate delayed HDR. Whereas anti-JKB, same HDR but less severe cases of HDFN. Second system that we today are going to discuss is the Duffy system, which is similar to the system that we just went through. This was discovered in a multi-transfused hemophilic patient named Mr. Duffy and hence the name in 1950 when they discovered the anti-Duffy antibody. In 1951, they discovered the anti-Duffy B antibody in a pregnant woman who had three deliveries. So what are the genes? There's a Duffy A, Duffy B and there are another gene known as Duffy A minus E minus. So Duffy A is made from Duffy A gene. It has got very high frequency in Asians. Duffy B is produced from Duffy B gene. It has got high frequency in Caucasian. And when there is absence of both Duffy A and Duffy B, it is Duffy A minus B minus. This is the most common phenotype seen in African American, 60%, 68%, even higher in Africa. So this Duffy system, if you see the Duffy A minus B minus phenotype has a very important role in Africa and we will be discussing that later. Coming to genetics and biochemistry. It is this G blood group system gene is located on chromosome 1, that is the long arm of chromosome 1. Now, interestingly, this was the first blood group system gene to be assigned to a chromosome. If you remember, RF gene is also present on the chromosome 1. Along with it, there is a Duffy gene. The gene that is for codes for the Duffy antigen is the ACKR1 or the atypical chemokine receptor 1. It was also known as dark gene, DARC. It has got five antigens, CD number is 234, and we have light kit system, 
we have antithetical antigens Duffy A and Duffy B. They both are co-dominant and we have another gene known as FY which is a silent gene FY which results in FY A minus B minus. Now this Duffy system is very important. Why? Because it is not only a receptor for the chemokines or the cytokines, but it also binds the malarial parasite Plasmodium vivax and the other Plasmodium species called Plasmodium nolesi. Coming to Duffy system, genetics and biochemistry, it has got 336 amino acid and it is 336 kilodalton in size. You can see it has got, it is also a transmembrane protein and it goes seven times. If you see here, it has got two disulfide bridges and the N terminal is extracellular whereas the C terminal is intracellular. The amino acid at 42nd position will code for either Duffy A or Duffy B depending on the polymorphism. Duffy A has glycine and Duffy B has aspartic acid. Another antigen Duffy 3 it is located on the third extracellular loop and this is where it is the proposed position for Duffy 3. Duffy 6 is at position 19 to 25 here on the extracellular region. Duffy system, Duffy system genetics and biochemistry. The Duffy glycoprotein binds to the chemokine. The various chemokines or the cytokines that it binds to, one of them is interleukinate. It, the other is MGSA or melanoma growth stimulatory activity, the rantase. MCP or the macrophage chemoattractant protein 1. So what it does is when it binds to this chemokine, it acts like a sink or a scavenger for the removal of this unwanted chemokine which may otherwise cause a lot of inflammation. So coming to the antigens of Duffy system, there are Duffy A and Duffy B that we have discussed. They are antithetical. They are not found on platelets, lymphocytes, monocytes or granulocytes but are present in body tissues brain, colon, endothelium, lung, spleen, thyroid, thymus and kidney. They are destroyed by proteolytic enzymes unlike kit system and they are not affected by AAT or glycine as EDTA treatment. Four Duffy phenotypes we are aware of. Duffy A, B minus, Duffy A, B positive, Duffy A minus B positive and Duffy A minus B minus. So this is the Indian uh, prevalence. More than 90% of nat native West Africans are Duffy A negative, B negative and why it is there? They have a selective advantage when they have this phenotype. I will be discussing about the same. However, in Indian scenario, you can see that Duffy A positive is 42.1%. That's the maximum. And Duffy A positive, B positive 4.5%. Duffy A minus B positive 12.3% and Duffy A minus B negative is 0 0.3%. Coming to Duffy system antibodies, Duffy A are more common, Duffy B is less commoner, at least 20 times less common and it occurs in combination with other antibody. These are generally IgG antibodies, they react best with at AHG phase and activity is enhanced by LIS and they also may show a dosage phenomenon. Some other antigens involved in Duffy system along with the antibodies. Duffy X is the new allele that was discovered at FI locus. This doesn't produce a distinct antigen, but it is actually an inherited form or a weak form of Duffy B. So no anti-Duffy X antibody is produced. Similarly, we have a Duffy 6 antigen, which is defined by monoclonal antibodies only. It reacts with all red cells except Duffy A minus B negative. It is sensitive to the protease treatment. Now Duffy 3 antigen anti-FI3 antigen and anti-FI3 antibody to it. They react with all RBC tested except those of FI A negative, B negative. It is an inseparable anti-FIA, FIB antibodies. Then there is another antigen known as antibody known as anti-FI5 or anti duffy 5 that has been found only in individuals of African ancestry who have received multiple transfusions. So what is the clinical significance of Duffy system? Very important. We have the anti-Duffy A, anti-Duffy B and sometimes have anti-Duffy 3. Both anti-Duffy A and Duffy B cause HDRs, generally delayed HDRs but can cause immediate HDRs or the transfusion reaction. They can also call HDFN sometimes mild. Few cases of mild HDF 
and have been attributed to the presence of anti duffy b but mostly to anti duffy a it is also expressed on organ cells so can cause rejection in kidney grafts now interestingly most african americans are duffy a negative b negative and they are resistant to the infection from certain malarial parasites now what duffy antigen does is it's a biological receptor molecule for attachment of merozoites to the red cells so what it does is since there is a duffy a negative b negative these merozoites are not able to attach and that is why plasmodium no lessi and plasmodium p vivax do not invade duffy a and duffy b negative cells so you can see if there is a duffy normal sense you can see that the malarial parasite are going to attach but if there is a duffy mutant or duffy a negative b negative these parasites cannot bind and that is why they cannot have of this parasitemia other important thing is the fi gene it is predominantly if you see in blacks it is it codes for duffy a negative b negative but it is from from predominantly duffy b variant so how it is from it is because of the gata mutation or the promoter mutation of this gene so duffy b is not expressed on rbcs in these individual but expressed on other tissues since it is, since it is from from duffy b there will be no anti duffy b antibody how do you detect this molecular testing for gata or gata mutation another interesting thing which is associated with duffy system is the ben or the benign ethnic neutropenia the leukocyte that were produced that readily left the blood stream resulting in an apparent neutropenia this is due to the presence of acr1 absence on neutrophil which resulted in a premature entry to the spleen and therefore in the reticular endothelial system it is destroyed so another clinical significance of duffy system is that acr1 on red cell or this receptor on red cell reduces the angiogenesis and progression of prostate cancer that's why higher levels of prostate cancer in men of african ancestry is seen expression of endothelial cell lining post capillary venules involved in the inhibition of cancer cell metastasis and induction of cellular senescence so how are they similar now that we have discussed both the systems so both of them cause dhtr both of them show dosage phenomena and both of them have igg antibodies yes both of them have transmembrane protein but the they have 10 times the transmembrane goes through the the loop goes through 10 times and here it is 7 times both n and c terminal are extracellular in kit system but we have seen that n terminal is outside and c terminal is inside in the duffy system of course the chromosome is different we have the duffy system which is chromosome 1 and kit system which is located on chromosome 18 then of course we have seen the classification based on the proteolytic enzyme whether they are enhanced or destroyed kit system is enhanced whereas duffy system is destroyed so you can remember d for d duffy system is destroyed whereas kit system is enhanced so these are my references which i have quoted for this uh, blood groups thank you so very much for your patient listening hope this lecture helped and happy learning to all of you we are if there is any comments or anything you want to ask you can write on the chat box thank you so much